I'm going to show you how to create a trading partner in SAP S4 and a system. Please bear in mind to perform intercompany transactions, the chart of accounts and the fiscal year must be the same. I'm going to show you where to assign the trading partner in order you create those intercompany transactions. My name is Nundiesh and I've been working with SAP since 2001 with the main focus in the financial area. I work as a contractor. In case you want to reach me out for projects, please find my link DID in the description of this video. If you are just reaching to this channel, its name is SAP at a glance, and the goal is to share SAP knowledge. We are doing a full life cycle implementation based in finance and controlling. So please subscribe to the channel to receive videos on a weekly basis. Creating a trading partner is pretty simple, but not all clients work with this feature in SAP. Uh, as an example, uh, if we have a company code with the headquarters in Switzerland, and we have other legal entities in Switzerland, we have also this company code in Spain, Portugal, France, Italy, Germany, whatever worldwide. And if you want to use the trading partner for consolidation, you need to, to see this video until the end. Or if you need to monitor the business that you make, uh, I would say the intercompany transactions that you make among the group, you also need to watch this video until the end. And now, without further ado, let's start. In the previous video, we have uh, finished this, uh, this screen, the company codes global data. So, uh, we we have created this so we are going to see now the trading partner which is this exactly this field we are going to learn how to create the trading partner on this field so basically yesterday there was nothing when i did uh for the ones sorry for the ones that have not seen the video yet is the first video of the channel don't miss this video so the trading partner even though it's called company this is the trading partner okay so let's Go to the trading partner and create a transaction code straw. And then we have enterprise structure, definition, financial accounting, and definition company, define company. But the point is that it says define company, but is a trading partner. So then what we are going to see. If I'm going to go to the other screen very quickly. I can add already uh, a, a trading partner to my company, who I am. I, I can be this one. We can be this one, okay? It's already created, and I'm going to save in my company, and then that's it, okay? First assignation, I, I create a trading partner, and then I assign to my company codes. We have just assigned uh, a trading partner to our company codes. And then enterprise structure, definition, finance, even though it says here define company code, this is a uh, create a trading partner. So now I'm going to uh, get this one and then we can double click to change. Or if I want to create a new one by copy, I just need to click there and create by copy. Okay, but this one is already there. I'm going to change. I'm going to call trading partner vendor. I don't have, because I don't have a name, okay? This is the naming convention that you need to, that you need to define with, uh, with your client and then the name of the trading partner. And then you need to fill in this part of the type of information, okay? So now I'm going to go back and then we have the trading partner for customer. So we'll double click and then, sorry guys, double click and select this one and then double click on this one and then I will get trading partner for customer and then save. I work in a, in a client where they had a lot of trading partners. I remember for Belgium, they had around, uh, they had more than 200 trading partners. So to see that this, this functionality for uh, consolidation is very useful and companies are using it a lot. And also, as I said, to monitor what exactly we are um, making business in between the company codes, in between the group. 
Okay. So now, now as as we finish this, I'm going to share another screen with you, which is going to change. You know that uh, this is customer, but because we are in version um, SAP S for Anna, uh, customers are now called uh, business partners. So I cannot, I, I need to find the trading partner. I need, I have to go to the general data and then do the control. And then here, I have the trading partner. You see, we see trading partner here. And then in the other screen on the configuration, we were seeing a uh, company. But in, in the end, I am doing for trading partner customer. This one that we just created, we just need to make this and then we just need to save. Okay. Once it's saved, um i can go back and then i can go open another screen and then we go for accounts payable i have something ready also in the control and then <clears throat> this is one way to enter there uh, i have a trading partner you see again and i'm going to choose the trading partner for the vendor if you are enjoying the video as me uh, please make a like on this video. After the master data updates, now we are able to create in their, in their company transactions. So such as simple as this. Thanks for watching this video. And as part of the full lifecycle implementation series, you can find the next video in the description of this video. Please subscribe this channel to be the first to get the newest video. And I see you in the next video.